They were supposed to be for armed reconnaissance, but as Operation Desert Storm commenced, the French AMX-10RC, also known as Rue Canon, found itself in front of a storm. Leading the charge at over 80 kilometers per hour, the armored fighting vehicles unleashed their coaxial 7.62mm guns to swiftly eliminate approaching enemy fighters, while their powerful 105mm cannons dispatched tanks from 2,000 meters away. By the time the first wave of assault concluded, 20 Iraqi vehicles were destroyed, and over 3,000 enemies had surrendered. Remarkably, no AMX-10 had received a single scratch. And now, perhaps even more remarkably, these massive French guns have just been spotted on the front lines in Ukraine. The AMX-10RC has proven to be a reliable vehicle, even after 40 years of service. In 2010, it underwent substantial upgrades, notably in its communication systems, to counteract data interception threats from the enemy. But it's not only the military that has to worry about sensitive data being stolen by nefarious players. Data breaches of even the most respected companies are growing exponentially. Your personal details might be just a breach away from being snatched up by data brokers and auctioned to the highest bidder. And who enjoys those persistent robocalls that keep appearing from time to time? It's all about data brokers sharing your information. Fret not. Here's a tool that can protect you. Safeguarding your privacy is as simple as one, two, three with Incogni, sponsor of today's video. Create your account, tell Incogni whose data you want to protect, give them the go ahead, and let them contact data brokers to remove your personal information. Just sit back as Incogni handles everything and keeps you updated. Your privacy is Incogni's mission. Incogni always remains vigilant, ensuring that your information never finds its way back into the broker's clutches. Don't leave it to chance, and risk having someone take a massive loan in your name or have your insurance raise your rates based on your online activity. Adopt a military-grade approach to your data security, and let Incogni be your digital sentinel. And for our devoted dark tech viewers, Incogni is offering an exclusive promotion. The first 100 individuals to use the code DARKTECH by going to the link below will secure a massive 60% discount. Don't miss this opportunity. There are only 100 slots available for this offer. Safeguard your online presence, now and forever. During the post-war, the French army introduced the Panar EBR, or Engin Blondeur de Reconnaissance, an armored reconnaissance vehicle for use in French colonies and a possible USSR offensive in Western Germany. Over 1,200 Panars were produced and used between 1950 and the late 1960s, when the vehicle began to show its age. Consequently, the French army sought a replacement in 1970. Preliminary studies for a replacement began at the AMX, or Ateliers de Construction d'ici les Molineaux. The result of the ongoing tests was the development of the AMX-10 platform, whose purpose was to be used not just to replace the Panar, but also for the AMX VCI light tank. The initial prototypes of both replacements began in the mid-1970s. The wheeled vehicle was designated AMX-10 Roux Canon, or RC, meaning wheeled gun. The AMX-10 RC was introduced in 1981 and considered a char, or tank, under French military standards. The first French unit to receive the vehicles was the 2nd Regiment de Hussards in Sordune. The AMX-10 RC had a length of 30 feet, a width of 9 feet, and a height of 8 feet. It had a mass of 16 tons. Years of meticulous study led to an innovative 6x6 wheeled vehicle with hydro-pneumatic suspension, allowing the AMX-10RC to traverse rough terrain relatively easily. The driver could change the ground clearance between 20 and 60 centimeters. The suspension could also be used to tilt the vehicle forward, backward, or to the side to bolster its versatility in different types of landscapes. The AMX-10RC was skid-steered and lacked a steering wheel. It operated similarly to a tank and could perform pivot turns. The first batch of the 6x6 wheeled vehicle was powered by the Hispano Suiza HS-115-2, a multi-fuel, liquid-cooled, supercharged V8 engine, providing over 250 horsepower, but was upgraded in 1985 with the Bedouin 6F11 SRX supercharged diesel engine with 300 horsepower. The AMX-10 RC, a maximum speed of over 80 km per hour on-road and 40 km off-road. It had an operational range of 800 km. Two water jets mounted on the rear side of the hull were used for water propulsion, making the vehicle amphibious. 
the AMX 10 RC could traverse bodies of water with an average speed of 7.2 kilometers per hour. Regarding armament, the vehicle was equipped with a 105.47 F2 Mecha 105mm gun. The turret was made of welded aluminum. The vehicle was armed with a 7.62mm machine gun and two electrically operated smoke grenade launchers. The standard arsenal included 4,000 machine gun rounds, 38 gun rounds, and 16 smoke grenade launchers. The powerful F2 rifled gun can fire high explosive anti tank rounds, armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabao ammunition, and smoke rounds. The crew comprises four men driver, commander, gunner, and loader. Both driver and commander have access to several periscopes and telescopes. In the early 1990s, the French military decided to modernize the AMX 10RC by improving its armor, gun, and electronics, but the program did not take off until the early 2000s. The result was the AMX 10RCR Renové. It encompassed the SIT 6 battlefield management system, the Liar infrared missile jammer, thermal cameras for the commander and gunner, an armor package for increased protection, and an upgraded gun. The upgrade led to increased weight and eliminated the vehicle's amphibious nature, leading to the removal of the water jets. The entire AMX-10 RCR fleet was finalized in 2010. Since its introduction, the AMX-10 RC has featured several variants. The first was the RP, an APC or armored personnel carrier of the AMX-10 RC that could house eight men. The RTT was also an APC prototype fitted with a 25mm cannon, but was never mass-produced. AMX also experimented with a AA variant with two 30mm autocannons, but failed to attract attention from customers. Other variants employed different turrets with different machine guns and launchers, but never went beyond a testing phase. One of the first combat deployments of the AMX-10 RC was the 1983 French military intervention in Chad as part of Operation Manta. Others later participated in United Nations operations in Kosovo. The highlight of the AMX-10's career was Operation Desert Storm, where 96 of the French vehicles were deployed. They engaged the Iraqi 45th Infantry Division before capturing Al salman airfield. During the engagement, the AMX-10 surrendered over 3,000 enemy soldiers, with over 20 vehicles destroyed at the cost of zero losses. Following American intervention in the Middle East, some AMX-10s were deployed to Afghanistan with French infantry units, but rarely saw action. On January 14, 2023, the French Minister of Defense, Sébastien Le Cornu, announced his country would prepare the delivery of a batch of AMX-10 RC vehicles to the Ukrainian military. The minister specified the order would take place within two months at the very least. Unlike the French, who had been employing the wheeled vehicle as an armored reconnaissance platform since the 1980s, Ukraine will use the AMX-10 RC as an anti-tank system in the front lines of Eastern Europe. Although this may appear to go against the nature of the platform, given its light armor, the powerful 105mm main gun of the AMX-10 RC is more than capable of destroying a heavily armored vehicle. It carries a gun of similar capabilities to those mounted on the successful German Leopard 1 main battle tank. With the effective use of heat, high explosive rounds, and armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabo rounds, the AMX 10 RC can rain havoc on Russian armored columns. Some sources have pointed out the Ukrainian military will receive the improved 10 RCR variant, with enhanced armor and a fire control system to bolster the survivability of the four man crew. In March 2023, Multiple videos of Ukrainian military personnel inspecting several AMX-10 RC vehicles emerged. Some footage was published on Twitter by user Nalcio26, an independent military analyst who has been closely monitoring the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The clips show Ukrainian troops inspecting the wheeled vehicle and taking pictures aboard it. Other videos focus on the reconnaissance vehicle during trials. Although the delivery of the AMX-10 RCR has bolstered Ukrainian morale, it has resulted in some controversy regarding how Ukraine and France have marketed the introduction of the vehicle to the ongoing war in Eastern Europe. For instance, some media outlets, including government agencies, have marketed the AMX-10 RCR as a light tank when it is, in fact, a wheeled vehicle. 
Indeed, the French military has officially designated the AMX-10 RCR as a char, or light tank, in the past century. Nevertheless, the acronym RC stands for Rouge Canon, which literally means wheeled gun. Other specialists have also noted the AMX-10 RCR is a wheeled and not a tracked vehicle, with light armor that, despite its latest upgrade, only provides protection against small arms fire and light explosives. Whichever the case, the delivery of these French vehicles to Ukraine accelerated the American and German decision to provide the Eastern European country with M2 Bradley and Martyr infantry vehicles and Leopard 2 tanks. Thanks again to our sponsor, Incogni. Take advantage of this exclusive offer. The first 100 people can claim a 60% discount on this service by using the code DARKTECH. Keep your personal information out of the broker's hands once and for all.